As some of you may be aware, I am 19 years old, and I'd say for the last nine years of my life, I've had trust issues to an extent. Uh, I've not had the best time growing up with friends that are fully trustworthy. Like, of course, I've made a few good friends throughout the years who have stuck by with, have stuck by me through thick and thin. But there have been a few that have betrayed my trust and backstabbed me one day, maybe in the future. Uh, I'll tell you the stories of betrayal and anguish and heartbreak that caused people in my high school to abuse me because some of my secrets and stuff got out and it was not a fun time for me. Now, I was having a conversation with a, few, a friend a few weeks ago about trust and we both came to an agreement because we've both had similar, uh, similar experiences uh, with trusting people and trusting friends and that going wrong. But people who are overly nice, like the Ned Flanders of this world, always have a bit of dark side and uh, a bit of a dark side and i know that may sound extremely narcissistic uh yeah I, I like i may be a narcissist for saying this but i just can't fully trust them i can't commit myself to trusting them because i always feel like they never show me their true self the like they're wearing a mask a shield protecting themselves from anyone else finding their deepest darkest secrets out and i completely understand that i put on a ruse to stop people i don't want fake findings to out about me but yeah, that's, what, that's what's led me to this point in my life, like having these trust issues with new people I meet that seem like too, too nice to me. I know it's really stupid to believe this, but because there are obvious examples of extremely nice people out there. Mr. Beast, for one. Uh, I don't know him personally, but from like his videos and everything and what he does, he is a tremendous person. Like He is amazing, and what he does is fantastic. But it's just, personally for me, people who never show their negative emotions just... It doesn't sit right with me. Now, the main reason why I'm making this video is because of a recent event that happened in my life. Uh, I started messaging a girl. Yes, that sounds completely incomprehensible. But I did. I met a girl at university. Not on my course, but just a girl at university. And I started messaging her. It was actually really fun at first. So, I know it's been, it's, it was two weeks. Two weeks and uh, I'll get to the point. But we stopped messaging recently. Uh, just two days ago, to be precise. We started messaging, everything was going well. I found out she was such a tremendous person, a really nice person, and I thought, this girl is so amazing. Uh, she does charity work, volunteering. She's always helping uh, helping her family, uh, working at an, an animal shelter nearby the university, actually, uh, helping rescue cats and all of that, which is which was amazing, because I'm a, a huge animal fan. So I thought, this girl is fucking perfect, and I didn't think anything about it, because even though I don't normally try and trust these type of people. I, I did. I trusted her because she seemed really genuine. It's really nice. And that's what university is about. Meeting tons of new people and putting yourself into situations that you don't feel comfortable with. But all good things have to unfortunately come to an end. As it turns out, I met up with a friend who's on my course. And I was telling him that I just started recently with chatting to this girl because both of us don't chat to girls often. And I was like, hell yeah, kind of bragging a bit <laughs> uh, to my own downfall. I was kind of bragging to him that I was chatting to this girl and, and uh, he asked her name and I showed her his Instagram. He's like, hold on a second. You wait, you, you're talking to this girl. And I was like, yeah, uh, what else was I going to say? And he, and he told me something that shook me down to the core. He knew this girl from his high school and she'd come to the same university as him. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't friends, they weren't close friends, but she in fact had a boyfriend, uh, a pretty serious boyfriend. I'm not going to reveal her details or, or anything because that's... Uh, yeah, that's stupid. But yeah, as it turned out, she, she had a boyfriend. So I was obviously dumbfounded, shocked, feeling betrayed like I have been before. I thought I finally met this dope, dope, fun, nice, kind girl. And it turns out, oh, oh, she's a lying bitch. That's what more can be said. She's a lying bitch. And uh, I, I confronted her. I didn't meet her in person because she, she was busy. But I messaged her about it. And I've not seen her since, obviously. This was two days ago. I finally worked up the courage to message her. I asked her about this and she came clean. She came clean. She said that she'd been with this boyfriend, boy for three years now, but things have been on the rocks recently. She was still with him, but she was just looking for a, a bit of excitement or something to try and like, I don't know, to make him jealous. I think, I think that's what she was implying through her messages. And I just felt sick to my stomach to be betrayed and used like this. I know I, I sound like I'm enjoying like talking about this, but I'm really not. Uh, I'm not very comfortable with so, so I try and put on a, a lively voice. So being devastated as I was, I blocked her on Instagram and on Facebook and on Snapchat and I've not talked to her since and I don't want to in the future. I'm not looking forward to the inevitable possible reunion on campus, but luckily I'm doing a year abroad so I won't have to worry about that for another year. Hell yeah. Basically this whole video is just a rant about trusting people and 
of course these are going to be amazing people in this world i just never met any like truly nice person or people who just show nothing but happiness and joy on the outside they always in my opinion i feel like they have a little bit of a dark twist and i've never met anyone in uh, in my life that contradicts this that, that contradicts this example in a popular anime called uh, classroom of the elite if you've never seen it there's a girl there's a girl in the class that she's one of the side characters but she's very prominent throughout the series throughout the series she confronts the main character one day. She's the happy-go-lucky. Everyone loves her. She always shows the happiness and joy throughout the whole class, bringing smiles to everyone's happy, dumb fucking faces. And as it turns out, she is a bitch. And she confronts the main character, and she has a complete shift in personality. And she's nothing but an asshole uh, who says if he does anything or doesn't agree with her, I can't remember it properly, but she'll fucking scream and say he tried to rape her. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I know this is an anime. But, I feel like there's some re reality to this situation. They wouldn't just make shit up like this. Uh, because I feel like I have been in situations like this, which may come up in a future video, possibly, if I'm comfortable with it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel I just don't feel comfortable trusting too many people. Damn, this is a depressing video. Well, that's pretty much it. Have a fantastic day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh... Talk about your unpleasant experiences. I, sh I shouldn't say that. You, you shouldn't talk about your unpleasant experiences if you're not comfortable with it. And subscribe because it helps my hair grow back faster.